This is Tony, Tony from Blink, Blink Mobile Interactive. So Tony, what is Blink Mobile Interactive? Uh, Blink Mobile Interactive is an Australian based company that, uh, that delivers uh, mobile solutions uh, to small enterprise and enterprise. So what brings you here today to the conference? Well, first of all, the council environment is a very special environment to us because that's where we started. Mm -hmm. And to date, we've got about 35 councils now using our product. Fantastic. So we try and attend all of the council conferences, particularly the customer service ones, because our product is all about customer service. And what do, you, what do you gain from being here? What's so good about the conference for you guys? Well, we, I mean, it's good because we've got a lot of people from all of the councils around New South Wales in one spot. It's a very well run conference. Pauline runs, Pauline's been a great supporter of ours over the years and her and her team run a great conference and it gives us an opportunity to put our product up there in front of them and show them the sort of customer service that they can achieve by mobilising some of the processes that they have in the council. Fantastic. Thank you very much for speaking to us this morning and we look forward to seeing you this afternoon. Thank you. Thanks Tony. Tony from Blink is going to take a few minutes to tell us about mobile technology. Thank you Tony. Okay. I know you've been talking a lot about waves here. I, was, um, I, I, I don't know if you're aware, but uh, the biggest wave in technology history is taking place, and it's still going, and it's becoming just as frenetic as it was when it started a few years ago. And that's all about uh, the replacement of the PC. Uh, in the middle of last year, I think it was, the, the actual amount of devices uh, accessing the web actually usurp PCs for the first time in history. So it's, when you think about that, and you think about these little boxes that we're all carrying around with us, um, and there's probably not one person in this room that doesn't have their mobile phone not too far away from them, if not in your pocket or your purse or in your hand. Um, and if, if you as a council, particularly your customer service people, if, if you don't have a mobile strategy in place, I would humbly suggest that it's something you should be looking at because your ratepayers, your, your customers out there are carrying these things around and, and they're learning how to use them. And they're not just young people that are using uh, their mobile devices to uh, go to the web. Um, it's, it is the older generation as well and we've seen a massive, massive, massive uh, change in that over the last three, three or so years. So um, with that lead in, uh, oh, also this morning I actually was trolling the web myself and I noticed that Facebook announced today, uh, or just recently anyway in their annual report that they've now got 751 million mobile users a month accessing Facebook and that represents about 54% growth year on year uh, of mobile users and out of that, out of their $1.25 billion in uh, advertising revenue they're getting out of that, uh, 30, that represents 30% of it and it's growing. So that just gives you an idea of what's going on out there in, the, in that world. And we like, to talk, we like to talk about that world as the post-PC era. I don't think the PC is ever, going to, is ever going to disappear. It may disappear a little bit more into the woodwork, um, but it'll always be there. But it's, it's all about how convenient these things are. And they're morphing in and out according to the way people want to carry them. You know, the, you've already seen that the iPad that I'm using has now moved into a smaller version, and it might move into a smaller version again. Why? Because they, they fit better in the things that we carry they fit better into your pockets. But the overall message is, you need a mobile strategy, and if you haven't got one, you need to be looking at one, because your ratepayers will be expecting it. If they're not expecting it now, they will be expecting it in the future. Uh, who's, Blink who's Blink Mobile? Well, we pretty much started out in the local government area. Uh, we started out in 2005, as an SMS based service because there was no technology around to deliver things the way you can today. And as, as the world grew and data plans became cheaper and we got to 2G and 3G and now they're talking about 4G, we, we morphed the platform that we had into the Amazon cloud 
as what is known today as a mobile enterprise application platform. I mean, really, what it's all about is enabling you to put your mobile assets in one place and deploy them out to many devices, um, which sounds really simple, but if you, if you, if you think about why it's relevant to you guys, what's really happening, what started to happen a couple of years ago was uh, what we call in the business an app breakout. We had Apple really promoting quite heavily their, uh, their app store and a lot of people went out there and, and are still are today developing uh, discrete uh, native applications for those uh, Apple phones and of course we've got Android and the Android store as well and they're doing that as well. But the whole idea is to have one platform to deploy from any of your data sources. So we want to pick up information from all over the council and it might not necessarily just be from the back end systems, it might be from your website, it might be from CSV files and deploy, it, deploy many services down onto all the devices available. And when I say all devices, we see it as a, PC, a post PC world, not so much a mobile world because the mobile world exists in many, many, many guises ruggedized devices, we want to be able to deploy to a kiosk, we might want to deploy to a web TV, all sorts, all sorts of tablets are coming out now. Um, I think um, Samsung announced the other day that they were going to write their own operating system just for a change. So we're going to have a, another set of operating systems and uh, Blackberry's out there doing things as well and bringing out quite a nice phone, which would be different to every other one around there. So the way we look at the world is not a systems world. We don't look at all those things in those big black boxes running silent behind the firewall. We see that as the old world. We see the new world as the world of you and, and your users. Thank you very much.